MES. So tell me about the jet mobile here. Well, it's uh, made out of a 747 engine cowling, and uh, I bought it about two years ago. It took me a year to build. It took uh, about a thousand hours to build, and got a first-class interior inside the cowling, uh, two first-class seats. It's got the spiral staircase from the 747. Uh, one third of a spiral staircase to the mm -hmm. 747-200 model. Uh, the captain's seat is from that airplane. The, uh, the rudder pedals turned into an accelerator and a brake. And uh, it sits on a chassis, which is a club car, golf cart chassis, uh, and then another trailer. It has to articulate. It's so long, it's 21 feet long, that uh, to get in and out of tight spots, I had to bend it in the middle. But uh, it weighs about 3,000 pounds, goes 11 knots. <laughs> its stall speed is about 190 knots, so you can do the math. Yeah. It's never going to get off the ground. So where do you acquire parts from a 747? Uh, I was uh, flying my Piper Lance down in Opelika, Florida, which is Miami area, and I saw a 747 airliner that was sitting on the ramp there, and they had all the doors open, and it was raining. And that means only one thing. They're about to part that airplane out. And so I found the guy that was taking it apart, and I bought two of these engine cowlings, actually, and uh, made one of them into the jet mobile, and uh, the other one's uh, made into a desk. Now, obviously, you get a lot of looks here. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, my wife is driving along with me everywhere, and uh, I think we're the most photographed thing today. It's just nonstop. Everybody's got a cell phone. Everybody's got a camera these days. So right. It's, it's just constant, and that's great. It, it's here for fun. I, I do it to support the young eagles. Uh, uh, Jack Felton called me and uh, said that he'd love to have it out here. and have it in support of uh, their good cause, which is certainly is Young Eagle. So we put that as big as we could on the side of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gets all the pictures taken, and people like you come along and put it on YouTube or whatever you're going to do yep. with this. And uh, the next thing you know, it's great advertising for charity organizations. And that's mostly what I do it for. I, I do it for charity. So that was officially, so far, the coolest thing I've ever ridden in. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe I'll see him next year. Who knows? But let's just say he has a really great 